if the fish or animals are safe through their behavior and appearance. Okay? And now I will show you also the breeding area here. We have some shark eggs here and the baby sharks. And those are the most spotted stingrays. And the most spotted sting and the most spotted stingrays, they can sting, okay? And they can release venom as well. And here it's just like a nursery for them here. But once they grow up, we put it there the shark, we can see it or in the underwater centers. Okay, now I will show you the shark eggs here and the baby sharks, okay? Please come forward, my group, please come forward. So we have it just follow me. Okay, we have some shark eggs here, or the baby sharks, uh, some shark eggs here and the baby sharks, okay? And some sharks, they lay eggs, some sharks, they, they give birth, okay? But for the bamboo sharks and the zebra sharks, they lay eggs, alright? And after five months, the egg it will hatch and it will become bamboo shark pups or baby sharks. And once they grow up, it will disappear the black stripes and it will turn into this color. It will disappear the black stripes. And afterwards, we put it there in the underwater so it falls for the shark wings. Okay, now I will show you also the aquaculture here. We have some algae. These are the algae from the Pacific Ocean. We used to breed them for one to two weeks through photosynthesis, which is light, which is energy. Okay, and these are the tiny microscopic aquatic animals. And this algae, we used to breed there to the artemia. And this artemia, we used to feed to the mycids. And the mycids, we used to feed to the small sea horses, sea jellies, and animal plant fish, or food for the fish in the bayou. Okay, now I will show you some sea jellies here. We have different species of sea jellies. Thank you. 